and we'll come back again. Now we will start implementing the plans and to-do items. First, we will start in plans. So the first step to do is to create the uh, models associated with plans to-do items. Now, because I am not providing you with the models already as a new kit package, we are fetching those models from the API documentation, the Swagger page. We are doing this manually, which is harder, but uh, this is more useful. You can get, uh, you can know, like learn how you can fetch the models required uh, properties from the documentation. Okay, here if I go to post a single plan, what I can see here is ID, title, description, and a cover file. Title is required. So from here you can know that the plan is about title, description, and a cover file. Also, if I go to the response, like this one, the success response, it returns me an object called operation response, plan operation response. It contains a record, which is of type plan, Let's see what we have. We got a title, description, cover bass at the string, collection of to-do items, ID, created date, modified, user ID, and is deleted. I'm not interested in these four uh, properties. I just want ID, to-do items, cover path, description, and title. So before I build the plan model, I will check the to-do items I can go here to do item also here you can find the schemas of all the models used inside the API to do items about description is done estimated date achieved plan plan ID and ID so first I will build or create the to do item plans to do item model sorry uh, go to the planner app dot shared models hit add class call it to do item if it's public public string id get and set public string description Pool is done. Date time, estimated date, when probably should be done. Date time, achieved date. Okay, and string plan ID. Okay, like this. What also we have is plan. We don't need to have reference. Uh, we will only have reference from plan to do to uh, to to do items, but not vice versa. Create a date modified user ID is deleted. We are not interested in those properties. Okay, now I can go to the plan, title, description, cover path, array of to do items, and ID. So public class plan public string id string title string description public string cover path public to do item an array to do items get and set like this okay let's move this to a separated file Click here move to plan.cs okay like this now let's build the models associated with the response of fetching the plans like getting all the plans 
Here I have three endpoints to enable me fetch plans from the API. The first one is to get all the plans, but it's, it has pagination. We have to send the number of the page. So the API returns a specific number of plans for me. And this is convenient actually, because maybe during the time the user has hundreds of plans, so he doesn't need to see all the plans at once and this affect the performance of the application. So we need to retrieve those page by page. Okay, this object is plan collection paging response. It's page integer page size. Next page nullable if there is another page. Records uh, array of plans message count a success and operation date. I will build this object. I can build it here. Public class paging sorry plans. Collection paging response. First create records. String message pull the success and what else we have? The number of the page and page size. Page public integer page size and next page if it is existing. Okay, like this. That's good. Now let's move to fetching a single plan. Go to plans ID, this one to retrieve one plan. Okay, somehow the same. It has message, is success, operation date, but only one record instead of collection of records. So I can create another model here, public class, plan, single response. Okay. Now instead of copying this, I can create a base class, class, base API response. It's an abstract. Can take advantage of inheritance. Okay. API response. Also this one. This has only plan called record. And that's it. String message and a success as well. Now let's Move this to a separated files. Okay. Now we are done from the models associated to plans. Now we can move forward in fetching the plans and show them inside the plans component. So that was everything for this session. In the next one, we will create the service called plans service uh, and register it in the dependency injection uh, con container, create the plans component and show the plans inside the UI. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you again and see you.